if we go on and we see that not only Peter has peace in the storm but the Bible says because of the prayers of people God sends a messenger to Peter an angel of the Lord comes to Peter and this angel carries a message carries a power and brings a miracle into Peter's life the way God answered a prayer to Peter is that he sent a messenger and what I want to just underline to you is the messengers precede miracles we all are anxious interested and we all want miracles in our lives but we must understand that God's way of bringing miracles many times is by sending a messenger into your life who becomes the answer to your prayer and this messenger not only becomes an answer to your prayer but this messenger also becomes a key to a prison door now we have a tendency as Christians to kill messengers Jesus looked at Jerusalem with weeping and he said Jerusalem Jerusalem whom I have not sent to you he says and everyone I sent to you either stone them kill them or crucify them he says I wanted to gather your children I wanted to restore you I wanted to heal you I wanted to get you out I wanted to bring a miracle into your life but the problem is that I don't bring miracle I bring a messenger who brings a miracle and you kill the messenger and you jeopardize the miracle if you want a miracle in your life you must pay attention to the messages that are sent in your way Lot if you are in Sodom and Gomorrah and you want to leave Sodom and Gomorrah remember God is not going to send an angel he is going to send a messengers into Sodom and Gomorrah that might look like a friend or might look like a human and if you pay attention to the messenger you can escape the wrath of God in Sodom and Gomorrah when God is about to do something God will send a messenger the presence of a messenger in your prison is a sign it's a symptom it's a smell of a miracle that is coming your way when you have a messenger in your life when you have a person in your life who speaks from God and who encourages you challenges you and you have a person who carries God into your situation who encourages your faith you are on the edge of a miracle in your life before God brought Jesus into Mary's womb he brought a messenger and what did Mary say Mary says yes sir Zechariah when the messenger came and said you are gonna have a child and Zechariah is like hey I have my will written down I already chose my casket I'm ready to go and you're talking about a child he says no 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 no." and the messenger says Listen, you, don't you mess with me and the messenger says you know what man you just you're so stubborn Zechariah I'm gonna make you mute for that you, you ticked me off be careful how you treat the messenger because in ignoring the messenger you actually will could miss a miracle in your life.